Removing the blowout tabs on your 70 to 81 in Camaro Trans Am is a pretty easy task to do at home. What we're going to do now is show you. Uh, you have your weather seal retainer channel which runs along here. And it's held in by a series of Phillips head screws and you unscrew those. And right about here is where your weather seal tab is going to be. You're going to take your weather seal out of the channel. And what you're going to have here, and this is a Fisher T-top card, so you're going to have the bare channel. You've got that all cleared out. Go through and scrape it and get all of the weather seal out. Then what you're going to see is, here's the blowout tab and this one is missing all the rubber on it. And you see the two small rivets. All we're going to do is take our drill with a drill bit in it. We're going to drill those rivets right out of there. Simply put a drill bit right on your drill and right into the hole and then just proceed to drill it out. Once you've drilled out the last hole, a little tabletop uh, clamp is a great thing to use on this. Once you've drilled out the holes, you can see there's no more rivets holding it in there. And all you're going to do is take your thumb, press it, and it's going to pop up and off. Just like so. We're now ready to install our new replacement units. These are really nice. We got a rubber coating on them. And it's very simple. All you're going to do is lay the unit back into place. Fits in just like the GM did. And then you can either pop rubber it or you can use very small screws and just screw it right in. And as you see, we've installed two screws. And as most guys don't have a rivet gun at home, two screws are going to work real well. Now you can do this two ways. You can just screw them in once you have the B, this A-pillar back on the car. And you can tap these right into the sheet metal. Or you can do what we're going to do, and you can screw them in like so. Now we're just going to take our grinder and grind the heads off. After just a minute with the grinding wheel, as you can see, We've got them ground down, nice and flush, and this unit's now ready to reinstall. 